Hello and welcome back to Stranded Deep, welcome back to Pacific Paradise and welcome back to this island we find ourselves on. Last time we were expanding the treehouse, we were adding a little bit more storage beneath, beneath the main house itself. So if you're joining us, yes, we are way above the trees. That is one of the biggest harvestable trees in the game, but not one of the biggest trees. The cooked pines are certainly bigger than that. Our house is standing on a column of stairs in, well, on the edge of an island actually. So we've been dragging container pieces back using our giant ass raft which is in the harbour. A harbour which is looking slightly emptier than before. We have our landing pad with the gyrocopter. We got some lanterns. I've been busy in between episodes so there's no lantern here. There's a lantern below us. We're going to need some sticks. We're going to need some wood which again a little bit busy between the episodes. So yes we were adding that last time which is another storage area and trying to figure out what to do with it and I think I've, I've come up with a solution. A solution that involves a little bit more building. Yeah, maybe we can add not a full land. Well, yeah, maybe we have to build a full landing pad on the other side just to make it kind of look like the regular one station from Star Trek. Oh my God, what? Oh yeah, Star Trek reference. It is good. It is. Sorry, what? Am I? I'm getting wet. I mean, we do need to drink, so that's probably a good thing. Anyway, uh, yes, so add a landing pad on the other side, but not land on it. Use it as a barbecue area, but that other cooked pine may be in the way, so I'm not entirely sure if we can do that. Things that we also need to do, oh yeah, uh, probably need another hammer because the one that I have is about to explode and we are going to need to eat. Nom, 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 nom. So the giant ass raft, 4x4 raft, area in the middle for physics objects such as the panels which we brought back. It is looking, yeah, looking good. I do like that that raft, the raft design. The sails on the side mean that it can strafe. We've got petrol motors on the front and back, which means it can go quite quickly. And then we have the sails if we need to slow boat with a physics object on board. The design is, well, it's partly me, partly you guys fully, fully suggested up. In fact, the house was exactly the same. It's just like, ooh, why didn't you, uh, why did you build yourself a mansion? So I did. But the beach isn't big enough to hold an entire mansion. The sky is. So that's how that came about. Yeah, Floating Harbour was also another suggestion by you guys. So this is the combination of a bunch of experiments. A bunch of experiments that had the trimaran, the three-hulled boat, out in the other side of the harbour. It's gone now. I broke it up because it was so slow. It was slower to turn than the big-ass raft. And now it's not good. So we can build that as a 3 by 3 catamaran, I think. Also, we do need to continue building our um, our 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 harbour. So I'm going to put metal here. I think what I might do is build this in between. Hmm. Or at least I might have a go at building it in between sessions because this raft rafts have a huge footprint in terms of stopping you build anywhere near it. So I'm going to have to sort of pull this away and start building into it. It's a little bit complicated, a little bit complicated, but that's basically everything caught up. We're going to go up there, we're going to smash some wood around. What's the time of day? 8.35 in the morning. 8.35. Ooh. Ooh. I tell you what, let's run through these barrels. Let's run through these barrels and just have a little look on the other side of the island. Hmm. Hello, pool. Are you deep? Are you wet? Wet and deep, but are you full of poisonous things? No, we always check, just to make sure nothing's swimming around like a lionfish, or the game is not going to put a, a purple poison boy in there, a little purple starfish. Because the game can do that. No, the starfish move around. No, they don't move around, they're static. But sometimes the game will just redraw all of the underwater items and objects, things like the coral, things like the rocks. It's just like, ooh, why does it do that? I don't know, maybe it forgets. Maybe just likes changing things up. Where are we? Oh yeah, DC3 up in the trees. If you're if you're new to this, hello. We've got an aeroplane up in the trees. Yeah, it's a custom island. Hobbs Renown. You can download it in the video description below. Always check the video description because stuff happens there. Anyway, can anyone else, and can anyone else smell toast? Let's have a little jump up here. Got stuck on the plant. Hmm. Walk up the tree onto the wing. There's some. Thing, some thing on the wing. We're on the wing. So yeah, uh, there it is. So the 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 the, the container that we've built. That cook pie is definitely going to be in the way. So I think a small sort of circular area on the end is going to be. Oh, I don't know. 
If we make it perfectly symmetrical, then we've got to start building the curve out from that red panel there. But I do remember there being a slight issue with things like the triangle pieces and meshing. Aye, so maybe we give it a start. Maybe we start it and then it all breaks and I have to fix it between episodes like I've done before. Anyway, pool. Tail. Pool. Tail. Hmm, why are you going to want to open your eyes for this one? Oh, no, it's not double tap, is it? It's shift. Okay, nope. I'm going to be running. We're going to be walking before. Okay, let's do it. You want to fight me for her? No, I want to fight you for me. Kim! Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, I've really got to get someone to check that. That keeps happening. Also, the red panel in the trees, if you move back too far, it just disappears. It just turns into a void. That's creepy. It's like, oh, your house is disappearing. Yeah, it's called LOD. Uh, low object detail. It just means that when you're far away from an object, instead of rendering the entire geometry and texture, it just renders a low detail model instead. But when you're close, it all pops in. That's why sometimes you'll be walking towards like a tree and it starts popping in. Yep, that's that's LOD. So we have uh, have a hammer. We have eaten. We've drunk. Yeah, let's give a let's give a little building a go. So I've got some wood again. Got it between episodes. Just like, I'm not going to make you wait around again. Oh, hey, I guess thanks, buddy. So, one, two, three, four. Grab that. Grab the hammer, which is about to explode. Uh, put that there. Yeah, that's perfect. So, give it a good old whack. Oh, you're whacking your wood? Y yes, I'm whacking the wood that we picked up. Yes, but you're whacking your wood. You guys, you guys, come on. Come on. So we'll grab that, now we can walk across. I mean, if we make... I oh, actually may... We might want to leave that there, just in case we do make a misstep. Hmm, yeah, that's a good idea, actually. I'm glad I could help. Ah, no problem. One, two. So, how do we do this? That's a very good question, because it's one, two, three. Hmm, I think we built the outer ring first. One, two, three. And then it's triangle piece. Yes, yes, yes. I think we built the outer ring first, and I believe it got stuck about here. And then I had to had to whack away in between episodes, just like trying to get it to fit. So yes, outer ring, then inner ring. I think that's the way we do it. So we might not even have enough wood to do this. Ooh, really? Yes. Put the hammer in your hand. Then you get it out. Then you whip it all about. Doo -doo -doo. That's my song about building. I'm a builder now. I mean, it works. And then we can do that, question mark. Uh, yes. And then we can, ooh, run out of wood. Ooh, run out of wood. Yeah, this is going to eat wood like nobody's business. Yes, that's exactly what I thought might happen. So I think... We'll be able to get... Yeah, that won't fit there, but a triangle pieces will fit there. Okay. Okay. So I think what we do is we build as much as we can, just ignoring the cook pine and ignoring, well, work safety standards for high altitude whacking. Uh, you're just whacking, whacking your wood above the trees? Yes, I'm... That's exactly what... But I... Hmm. I mean, it's kind of... Kind of a thing. Just giving it a good old smack. Um, there we go. So every time we build it. So if we try to step on that now, we just fall and break our legs. Oh, you can break your leg in this game? Oh yeah, you can break your leg and then you have to have a splint on it. I can't remember how long it takes to fix a broken leg. It's like a week at in-game time? Uh, nope, that's exactly... Nope, 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 nope. This is exactly what I wanted, the quick craft. I keep spooning the old um the old menus so i want to i want to quick craft if you have the hammer in your hand and you have the equipment in your pants you can absolutely quick craft so you can do that so i've got the equipment in my pants there we go boom Look how big these things are but why build a circle when you don't need to build a circle um, 
It's challenging it. It's something to do. And we can grab a hobo stove because we've got plenty of barrels now that are just not doing anything. Okay. Ah, I went to hit C to crouch. You're, um, you're having a good time there, buddy. I know. I know, right? So, another bit of wood in a circle. How far have you come? That's... I mean, dude, that's a personal question. But... Uh, this far. Oh, it's weird seeing it from this side. Because we don't have the archway on this side. And we are out of wood. We only got two, and it won't give us the option to build floor piece. Do we have enough to finish the outer circle? Probably... I don't know. I genuinely don't know. So we'll put that in. Ooh, oh, seeing the aeroplane from this side is kind of weird as well. Well, we haven't been up this, uh, this side of the woods, quite literally. So we can hammer these pieces in. Okay, cool. Once that's in, one for luck. And then... Yeah, will we... Whoa, okay. Yeah, I see where we are now. Will we be able to get another pan uh, floor panel piece in? Or is it just going to end up sort of weird, not quite circle? Don't know. Huh? Yes. <gasps> yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, I like the way this is going. I like the cut of the jib. The cut of your jib? Yeah. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Right, everything is fine. How much wood do we have? One plank. We can't go any further this way. That would be a triangle piece. That would be... So we're missing one triangle, and I don't think any the, the triangle piece is going to go in here, but by having it like this, from the ground, it's going to look fairly symmetrical. Ooh, yeah. One. So we have... Oh, we can do two triangles. Okay, fine. Let's do them. That's all we can do with the wood that we have. I'm going to have to go and get more wood. It's the only way... Oh. 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 Oh, no, I'm out of wood. I'm out of planks. Oh, bums. All right. Um, hang on a sec. Hang on. We, can, we, can, we can remedy this. No, I don't want to look inside you. I need to break you. I need to break you. I'm glad that didn't just smash the floor away from underneath us. That would be embarrassing. Right. Uh, that's weird that you can do that. That's what we need. Okay, fine. So we'll put these two here, and then that's pretty much it. So I'm going to need some more wood for the next session. Okay, fine. But you can see how this works. And then what we can do is we can bring a hobo stove out here. We can bring some chairs, some tables, all the things that I've been asked to build. It's like, huh, can you build like one of everything? Yeah, we can. We can get a fishing rod. We can get a, a Du duvet, we can make a sofa or a settee or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, so we can fill most of this in and the tree is just going to be in the way. Right, okay, cool. Uh, you and you can go in there and just sit there for the time being and then we can get busy doing other bugger. There's a storm rolled in. Ugh, storm's going to be a pain in your ass, right? Yeah, I know. But, I mean, we've done quite a lot of work. Look at that. I, I don't mind the tree being there. I mean, we can't chop down a cut pine. That's just not going to happen. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. What about this bit here? Uh, let us finish this off. Just as a little safety measure, because this was just an experiment just to see if we could make something go around the corner. Yep, okay, fine. And now it's a storm. Uh, we're going to need this up on something as well. Okay, fine. I will... Ooh, weird. Weird running mechanics. Okay, so these guys are... No fuel in them. They're going to get some water, though. We need to water. Okay, so these these will gather water during the storm. Not a problem. Uh, we need a couple of sticks. Oh, crap. That's a big old wave. Hmm, all right. A couple of sticks. We could have a lot of lanterns, but the trouble with the lanterns is they're kind of on the floor. And by having them on the floor, they are... Yeah, this works much better in Storm. Now with everything here, the little half walls and everything, keeping it in check. And the tires. Yep, that's pretty good. 
Yeah, so we need to get the lands and sorting out. What is the time? 1528. So this storm is not going to stop before nightfall. Hmm. So we've got the wood in our pants. I'm going to go and check the plants because we need to do that. Also, ooh. Ooh. Do we go for a little dip in the sea during a storm? I don't want to. But I guess we might have caught some more cod. It's getting very dark down there, though. Hmm. I mean, there won't a shark won't spawn. Oh god! All right. This is not. Oh god! Cri cri cripes! Cram and deadly trigger. God. God. Oh holy crap! That is terrifying. Let's just try and hoof herself up on the rocks. So yeah, we need the torch because otherwise we couldn't see a freaking thing. That is worrying. I just want to check the plants as well. Oh, look, pee pee. Oh, we've been looking for that for a while. I mean, we've got a farm full of it. Really? Yes, it's farm fresh, I guess. Oh, yeah, potatoes. Good. That'll give us another batch of fuel so we can get another batch of fuel on the go. It's kind of a miracle that all our plants are growing right next to the salt water. I mean, yeah. So you wouldn't want that in real life. Uh, can't grab anything else, so may as well harvest that. Oh, that's not going in there. All right, I'm gonna drop that on the beach. Where would you do that? Oh, freaking bricks. One of four, right? And one of three, okay. Well, you harvest it so that it can carry on growing. If you don't harvest it, what will happen is it'll stop growing. You won't get any more plants. But if you harvest them every three days, you'll get a plant. And the storm is going to water all of these because we're on the island. If we weren't on the island, they would all dry up. About eight days worth of water, I think. So that's fine. And I'll sit from there. Good, good. Why is, why is your island full of nightmares? Uh, yeah, it's a good question. Very good question. It just is, though, isn't it? We just collected dead sharks. There's dead shark junk, dead, dead shark junction, dead shark alley. Yeah, but they're all dead and sharky. Yes, I know. Speaking of which, great white. Yeah, goblin shark, goblin shark, goblin shark. Great white. What do you think about the storm frequency? Oh, I really don't like. Wait a second. I, <clears throat> I really don't like the storm frequency. Like seventy percent is just too much. Really? Uh, uh. Yes, 70% chance of storm every day is just too much for me. It's too wet, you know. Alright, cool. Glad we gave that conversation. So, done is... Yeah, we haven't got much daylight left anyway. So what I think we should do is wait out the storm, have a little something to eat, have a little something to drink, have a little sleep. And then, uh, what we could do is... No drink. Uh, yeah. No fuel, but these things are gathering water in the rain. Uh, probably start work on the raft, because we're going to need to do that so we can do it. Do it! Which is fine. Yeah. That. I mean, it's kind of amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah, we need to put the lantern up. And it's kind of amazing that we've done all this work, but from the actual treehouse itself, most of this is basically invisible. So we haven't ruined, we haven't spoiled our view. Uh, I'm going to put this here. And the reason I'm going to take this lantern off the ground and put it here is that when the lights do turn on, this will create a pool of light in this area instead of just having the lights splashed on the ground. You get more light. More light. This is more light. So the sun is going down on what was. I mean, it was a beautiful day in paradise. It is now a very wet day in paradise. Oh, is the storm using up? Weird, that. Yeah, six o'clock. So the sun's gone down. Uh, we've got a glow on the horizon. You don't really see much because all these rain sprites everywhere, which will get the ass compressed out of them by YouTube's own compression. And YouTube's compression is weird. I upload an HD video. Video in HD. Yes. But then what happens? It spends about six hours thinking about turning it back into the very same HD. Really? Yeah. Yeah, turns into a 360p video, and then it goes, Oh, oh, you know what, what would be really cool? What's that, buddy? I'll turn it back into HD. Alright, cool. How long is that going to take? 
five minutes for everyone else, six hours for you. Which is why some videos have been going up, well, early in the morning for me. I guess if you're in America, super early in the morning. So like two, I guess. I, I guess. I guess. Lillian Gish, 1920s actress of the silver screen. What? Who is that? Uh, don't worry about it. Actually, a really, really good actress from the the silver screen period. Okay, fine. Uh, we'll go and throw all that. So the potatoes are in, the fuel still, the fuel still, and the smoker. These are all inside because you can do that on PC. I don't think you can do that on console. Don't think it's been addressed. Not sure. So we're going to need a bunch of leaves. Wait, you're using leaves as fuel instead of sticks. Yeah, sticks are a finite resource, old chum. We got the leaves from chopping down on the trees because the trees are now part of the tree house. So we're using the resources. Excellent. So what we'll do is we'll like this. If you can't do the left, right, left, right, you can go into accessibility options and disable that. There we go. So we'll get that smoking. We'll get that uh, an extra thing of fuel. Oh, wait. Oh. That's empty. That's full. Full. The roundel for the fuel still doesn't go all the way up. So, yeah, that would not have gone anywhere because it was full. There we go. Done. Cool. We get to go up on our mezzanine and read a little bit of Jane Austen. So we can do a save. And then by the light of the very hot kitchen. Oh, yeah, that kitchen. Oh, yeah, because hot air rises. We're going to be quite warm up here. And then we can sleep. All right, and we wake up, and it is six o'clock in the morning. Uh, that is that's done, so we can put that out. That's all done, so we can put that out. Good. We are hungry, so we can take a little bit of smoked meat. We can go out on our veranda, and we can go. Oh, nom, 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 nom. Excellent. We do need a little bit of a little bit of water. It's surrounded by water, but you need to desalinate it first. Oh, how do you desalinate it? Uh, well, I suppose you could evaporate it and then take the evaporate off because the soul will be left behind. It's energy intensive, but it's not impossible. Anyway, yeah, we need to do stuff. We, so we've got a hammer and our pants. We do have a knife and some spears and stuff. We're going to need to get rid of those because we're going to need empty pants. We're going to need a lot of space, a lot of space. Yeah, I'm super happy with the way that's turning out over there. I, I yeah, I'm genuinely happy with the way it's it's evolving, the the old treehouse. I uh, thought you were done with it. No, no, no. We're carrying on. We're building building further, faster, harder. Faster and harder than anyone has ever faster or harder before. Okay, good. That's all us tippity top with water. Oh yeah. So if anyone's familiar with Star Trek and the regular one Starbase, it's kind of got that got that got that look to it. I think regular ones featured in Brave New Worlds as well. If you didn't like Discovery, and I did not like Discovery, uh, yeah, Strange Strange New Worlds. Strange New Worlds is the one to watch. Like Brave New Worlds? You sure? No, no, it's Strange New Worlds. It's the new Star Trek, and it is actually quite good. I, I enjoy it. It has a sort of uh, TNG era feel to it. Um, although it is still very much new Trek. So that's good. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it. That and Lower Decks. I do like Lower Decks as well. Okay, fine. So we got some balls. You want balls? We got balls. Uh, how many days do you have balls for? Oh, we got balls for days and we got barrels as well. So what I'm thinking is we got one, two, three, four barrel sections. Twelve barrels, four barrel sections. And then we got... One, two, three, four boy ball sections, but we need to do a three by three raft. Oh no, how do you do that? I'm glad you asked. Three by three raft. I don't think we got any more tires. Ooh, do we have any tires underneath the aeroplane? No, I think we use them. We got a bit of metal down here. Hmm, that is a good question. I'm just gonna have a little look because they're worth. Were a bit of rubber down here? A little bit of rubber? A bit of tyres? Yeah, no, no, I think we've used them. So yeah, the aeroplane had tyres on it, and no it does not. So, that's fine. It's just 
part of the undercarriage, I guess. Uh, good. Right. Well, we don't have the bit that I thought we might have, so we're going to have to improvise. I think barrels and boy balls. And then we're going to use those tires in order to do the thing. What thing? I don't know. You remind me of the babe. What babe? The babe with the power. What power? The power of voodoo. Voodoo? You do. Do what? Remind me of the babe. Anyway, uh, yes. Okay, so barrels. Boom. Barrels are going in the water. You can build it on the land, but the trouble is, if you build it on the land, what's going to happen is you'll be sad because anything that touches the uh, island mesh, the sand, you'll get big red marks and you'll just be like, well, we can't build here. Oh, well, that sucks, doesn't it? So, boy ball raft base. And we're going to snap that on here. I always use the, 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 the way it's pointing. I always use that as forward. The one that's sort of pointing at the end. I don't know why. It's just a logical thing. So we have another... Nope. Another... Oh, it's because we got the... All the plank... Uh, all the... Um, uh, all the stuff in the way. It's plank scrap? No, it's not plank scrap. It's... You know how it is. Bonk. Okay, cool. So there's one contiguous raft section. Excellent. We have another thing in our pants. So I'm going to get those tires. Tires? Yep. We're going to use the tires as a connecting piece. Uh-huh. All right. Tell me more. Well, uh, how much more do you want to know? Uh, start at the beginning. Well, in the beginning, there was a Big Bang. But nobody's quite sure what was the cause of the Big Bang, or if it was a single bang or multiple bangs. Like, multiple universes created all at once, or as a single universe. I go with a multiverse idea. Also, it could be that there is a quantum membrane that exists uh, kind of all over the place and by having that uh, basically what happens is the two membranes collided and that's what caused the Big Bang but nobody's sure because nobody was around with the GoPro recording it which is a shame missed opportunity really what are you talking about oh god I don't know I think that's basically the way of things. So what we're doing is we're grabbing a bunch of base pieces. So I'm doing barrels, boy balls, barrels. It's going to be a three by three, which means it's going to be quite big still. Uh, another lashing for the last piece. Good. And then what I'm doing is I'm also looking away from this huge pile of uh, bricks. Because that's basically building materials for a house. I don't really know what to do with that. Maybe we'll figure something out okay cool so now we've got the basic structure we can whip out our axe which is looking really tired actually take out this bit in the middle now I'll take the bit out in the middle but I'm wondering if we just leave it we know we can take that out and still have a cat I'm wondering if we do leave it though you know, and just have it like an H shape. Ooh. Because that'll allow us to do things like put sails and stuff in the middle. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to fix it. I'm going to fix it. I'm the boy that fixed it. I did the fixy thing. Okay, fine. We got enough wood. Uh, why you all? Don't know. Well, let's we'll soon find out. I need a raft top. Nope. You're not going to give me what I need. Ooh, game. Ooh, game. Plank rough floor. Bonk. Uh, no. I mean, come on. Come on, game. You know what I'm doing. I've been doing it for the last freaking five minutes. I've been making raft tops. And it's like, nope, I don't seem to recall that. So this could be a little issue. Yeah, no, it's okay. Now I'm going to be able to do the last one. I think that's all the wood we got. Yeah, I think that's all the wood on the island. Oh, bugger. Um, that's kind of a... Uh, I'll tell you what. Yep. No, no, I want my own inventory. Yes, grab a grab an axe. One, two, and four, and five. There you go. Whip out the old mallet. Rough floor. 
Hmm, there you go. Eight shaped raft. I mean, it's a cat. It, it's a typical cat. Now, Steve Cora was saying, oh, why well, don't you just chop the bottom out now? I can't destroy this. Another crafted item depends on it. And by the way, I'm not hopping up and down. It's just the water because we're kind of crouching. Um, and swimming, I think. But yeah, you can't destroy that bit. I wish you could, but you can't. Okay, fine. So it's a, it's a semi-cat. It's as close to a catamaran as we... I mean, we can take out the centerpiece and still have these two sections here floating free, like we've done here. But this is going to be way more practical, I think. Or is it? I mean, I, well, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We can break it apart if we want. Okay, uh, we're going to need certain things. We're going to need... Now. Uh, we're going to need to put an anchor on it. An anchor? Yes. Wait a second. Can we just put anchors in the middle? Well, I don't see why not. We could have a tiller and a motor on each end. Oh my god, yeah. We can make this a super efficient raft. Can we do this? It's a good question. Uh, we are going to go to raft anchor. So can we put two anchors on the same... I don't know. Never tried it before. Same raft section piece? Yeah, genuinely. Why does quick craft not allow me to do exactly what I want to do? Why is it being weird? Oh god, look. Look at that. Yes. So we can use the center section as a utility section. Oh god, can we put a sail on it? <gasps> oh yeah, that'd be really good. Um, okay, what does the sail need? Rough sail. One bit of cloth and two sticks. I'm lashing. Okay, yeah, we can do that. We can do it. I mean, we have all these pieces. We make a super efficient cat. Yeah. Okay, rough sail. Good little arrow telling you which way to go. Um, nope. Game. Walk forward, walk back. It It's so, like, finicky. There you go. Yeah, so finicky about the way that it wants to do stuff in the game. Right, okay, cool. Um, what if we put a tiller either side, and then we can do... Ooh. No, because I... I'd need storage on it. So we're going to have to have storage here and here could be storage. And then we could literally just have, um, we're going to need, yeah, we're going to need awnings. So awnings front and back. I, I do like the idea of a front and back thing. Just having a second motor on it really does tend to help. Okay, right. Awnings, awnings, awnings everywhere. Let's do it. So, nope, it won't allow us to quick craft. It's really, really picky about how we how we craft. Ew, doesn't want to allow us to do that. Is it because we're in the way? Oh, interesting. Why is that? It might be the anchor. No, it can't be. Because the, look, anchor. Oh. Yeah, I have literally no idea. It might be that it's too close to another raft. So let's do this. Ah, uh, smoosh. Right, that's down. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Uh, no. <sighs> Quick craft. Nope. Nope. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's too close to another raft. That's what it is. Oh, really? Yeah. So I'm going to put it on backwards. That's another weather, weather effect. It is? Yep, it is. Ah, uh, why do I, I keep just out of... out of uh, habit, just going to... Okay. Um, going to quick craft. Because so many times you're just like, yep, yeah, quick craft, quick craft myself a spoon. It's be, it'll be fine. I can't even see which way round that is. That's back, that's other way. Yep, there you go. Then we got one more cloth. So you're gonna make a cat with four awnings. Yeah, it keeps the sun off us. I suppose it does, yeah. And that is not going to craft because too close. Okay. So I'm just grabbing the stuff at the beach because, well, we can do that. Uh, oh god, game! Seriously. 
get your act together. And that's wrong, that's right. Cool. The yes. Ah, oh, yeah. I'm liking that. It's a 3 by. Th it will still count as a 3x3 three three raft. So no matter how you look at it, that is a 3x3 three three raft. I need to cool down? <gasps> I need to go in the sea! Oh, my SPF is too high! Sploosh, sploosh, sploosh. Okay, fine. I'll go for a swim in the sea, because the game's just like, um, I really need you to cool down right now. Also, oh my god. Oh, a tur turtle! Poison fish. Music's gone. Don't like that. Because last time we were here, and a goblin shark just spawned underneath us. Not the white tip reef shark, or the giant grouper. Mm. Oh god, an archer fish. I'm so nervous, and I don't know why. Because we haven't been out beyond uh, beyond this island. But during the sandstorm, everything becomes super clear, and now we're drowning. It turns out that we are our, our biggest, worst enemy. So yeah, SPF is going down. I suppose we can make some sunscreen. That'd be quite cool, but... But, but, but we're right at the end of the session. I mean, come on, we've done so much. So we have started another, well, landing pad size area, which we're going to turn into a barbecue area. So we're going to get the hobo stove on that. We have started a, well, it was going to be a catamaran, but it's as close to a catamaran as I want to get because it just, it is useful having that extra section in the center. And I think it looks a little bit better. So it's going to be the more maneuverable, faster raft. I'll put some storage in the centerpieces and then motors on the ends like we normally do and tillers and things. That'd be good. Um, actually, only one end needs a tiller. The other end doesn't because the sail is only going in one direction. Ooh, that is actually a genuine, uh, genuine observation. Cool. So we have done quite a lot. We have done an awful lot. I'm going to leave it there for the time being. So if you like this, definitely leave a little like, leave a subscribe. And if you do subscribe, click the little bell because that will give you notifications when videos go live. And I'll tell you what, I'll catch you next time. <laughs>